welcome again to my channel in my previous videos we have seen how can we price the product based on list price stock price and percentage of total price we have also seen the way to create subscription product and one of product now whenever we purchase anything our purchase is always incomplete without having discounts right and this discounts are always applied based on different criteria such as the volume of the product bought and uh, the term for which the product got bought today we are going to review how this thing can be configured using salesforce cpq so salesforce cpq uses the functionality called discount schedules to automatically apply discounting so quickly moving forward to the agenda like today we are going to see what is discount schedule how to configure it where can we see the impact of discount being applied use cases and demo so what is discount schedule so discount schedules are a reusable way to apply discounting to any product which can have automatically discount on multiple line as well so discount schedule is a combination of schedule record and discount tier this discount tiers actually contains the percent of discount and we can have a term based discount schedule which will work based on the uh, several term for which a product got bought in case of subscription product how to configure so we have to create discount schedule record we have to create a discount tier related to him uh, it having discount percentage or amount and thus simply apply that to any particular product dimension product option feature and contracted price now where can we see the impact of so you may have seen pricing waterfall model in which we have seen how original price list price special price regular price customer price partner price and net price getting calculated so based on this we can see like a regular price will have this effect of discount being applied right? so we'll see our regular price uh, it will be having a discounted price okay. so use cases right so volume based discount schedule which is like quantity based discount schedule term based discount schedule discount schedule with product option with product feature and with contracted price so out of this we are going to see volume based discount schedule today so here is the use case for that so abc corporation is selling a product which comes with defined range of discount based on the volume of product with which it got purchased okay so they have identified following tier of discount which apply discount on slab basis so for 1 to 10 uh, we are not charging we are having 0% discount uh, for 11 to 20 we will be having 10% discount and the quantity purchase of 21 to 30 will be having 20% discount in the system so let's see how these things work okay so uh, we have created a product called discount schedule use case and there is a field called discount schedule which has uh, discount schedule called use case one so here it is right? so it is a use case one it is a slab based discount discount unit is percent uh, we have discount aggregation scope as a quote level scope uh, cross product is unchecked cross order is unchecked including bundle quantity is also unchecked and you can see the use of this like uh, just click hovering on that so cross product is defined when it is being defined then it will be applying discount based on the different products quantity uh, if cross order is checked it will be something like uh, it will be checking for a previous purchase of the same product and include in bundle include bundle quantities that means like if a product is bundled right is marked as bundled then whether to include that uh, quantities or not and here it is like some uh, like override behavior whether we can override this uh, at a cart level and price scale even we can set the uh, field on which based on which we want to have this tiers working now when we go to related uh, we have actually defined those tier over here like 1 to 11 this is exclusive and that's why it is 1 to 11 we have 0 percent discount 11 to 21 we have 10 percent discount 21 to 31 we have 20 percent discount now let's jump in and check this out okay so i'll go to catalog from there i'll add this product 
and when I come to cart I can see like my quantity is one uh, the price is thousand dollar right and net price is again thousand dollar and we can see this original price special price regular unit price customer unit price and net unit price over here we can also see the discount here right so all the discounts can be seen here and this is editable as of now because we have set the uh, level as edited like uh, override level override behavior as all okay uh, we'll come to this but let's make the quantity as 11 and we see uh, price different right 11 into 1000 that is one like like 11,000 right and we are seeing that 10,900 because 10% 10 discount being applied on quantity 1 let's have it as a 21 and our price is 19,800 and now how this getting calculated because it's a slave based discount let's see okay so same here same at there like which where we defined tiers we have defined those things over here lower bound 1 upper bound 10 0 percent discount lower bound 11 upper bound 20 10 percent 21 to 30 is 20 percent now the quantity that we are purchasing it is 21 so first 10 quantity will fall in this one next 10 quantity will fall in this tier and the remaining one quantity will fall in this one because we have used slave best discounting now the price for the product is thousand right so uh, the price for the first year is 10 into 1000 which is 10,000 uh, 10 into 20 or 10 into this 10 will be 10,000 again and 1 into this one that is being 1000 okay and based on that what will be the discount uh, for the first year it will be 0% discount for second year it will be 10% discount I guess because uh, it falls into this year so that is like 10,000 and 10% 10 discount is 1000 okay so that is 1000 here okay and uh, for the remaining tier 1 which will be like 1 into 1 that is 1000 as a price and there would be discount as 20 or 20% 20 discount which is 200 right and based on this our price got calculated that discounted price is 10,000 because no discount uh, over here discounted price is 9,000 because based on that we have provided 10% discount and here we purchase only one unit so uh, 1000 minus 20% discount which is 2,200 and the discounted price is 100 and now when we make some of this we'll get actually 19,800 which is a final price for that particular product and which is the same here right if you make it 25 we'll have the pricing based on the same way or same slip that we define so now you got it now how this volume based discount can be configured using Salesforce CPQ so thank you very much for uh, watching the video uh, if you like this video, please like it, share it and subscribe to my channel to continue having learning based on uh, my experience in Salesforce CPQ. Thank you very much.